We are here in uh, Moscow. We are actually fulfilling the will of Nobel Peace Prize winner Professor Eli Wiesel. They wanted to come to Limud and to speak about his legacy of struggling for Soviet Jewry and for the remembrance of the Holocaust. Unfortunately, because he, he uh, fell ill in the last couple of months, he asked me and uh, my colleague, Dr. Joel Rappel, to fulfill his will and to have an exhibition about his life and his legacy to not to forget the Holocaust and to fight for let my people know. I, I was a member of the International Committee annual conference Holocaust and Churches uh, that was held uh, more than 20 conferences at United States. So I have opportunity to meet with Elie Wiesel several times, including in Petersburg, Florida, when we spoke more than one hour about our project, about research and teaching Holocaust in the Soviet Union. Also, for me, it was a very big experience to meet with Elie Wiesel January 27, 05 at Paris in the bookstore where he signed his book recently published in, in France. And uh, Elie Wiesel was a member of the board Encyclopedia of the Holocaust in USSR. Also, when I visited Boston, I also have opportunity to meet with him. I think today, when this exhibit traveling to the Russia at the first stop of the activity of this exhibit, it's very, very important. Because, unfortunately, in my country, very rarely known the name of Elie Wiesel, not only as the author of the famous novel The Night, but also the person who made uh, big attempts to preserve the memory about the Holocaust in our country. So for us, for Russian Holocaust Center, Russian Jewish Congress, these events today in Moscow is very, very important.